Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me already, I'm Jones, and today I am bringing you a tasty recipe just in time for Cinco de Mayo. It is my crunchy potato taquitos that are not fried, they are baked. You can do these in the oven or the air fryer, and they are so tasty and crunchy, you are gonna love them. So we're gonna start with some potatoes and we're going to be using some vegan cream cheese, some diced chilies that are from a can. I'm using these kind, but you don't have to use hot, you can use mild. We're also going to be using nutritional yeast, some kosher salt, dried chili flakes, roasted garlic, and some ground cumin. So get your ingredients together and let's get started. I've already steamed my potatoes in the Instant Pot. You could do this on the stove top as well. And I like to peel my potatoes after they've been steamed because the skin comes off really nicely without wasting any of the potato. But you can also peel your potatoes before steaming them if that's the way you prefer to do it. I started off using my fingers but ended up using the vegetable peeler, but you can see how easy those skins come off. Now that our potatoes are all peeled, it's time to mash them. And I'm using a potato masher. If you don't have one, you can use a fork, but I highly recommend getting a potato masher because they really come in handy. I love using mine to mash tofu as well as potatoes. I did end up switching to a fork just to get all those extra little bits of potato that were in there. We're looking for a nice fluffy texture. Next, we're going to add our vegan cream cheese. I'm using this Tofuti brand, but you can use whatever kind of brand that you like. And I'm going to put in a quarter cup of the cream cheese. And I highly suggest that your potatoes are warm when you add the cream cheese, because then it'll just melt right in there. If your potatoes are cold, you could try microwaving them for a couple of minutes before, but you really want to be able to incorporate the cream cheese easily. Next, we'll be adding our green chilies. I'm using about three tablespoons here, which is just over half of one of those little cans. Then I'm adding my roasted garlic and my chili flakes. We'll add the ground cumin and the nutritional yeast. We'll also add a little bit of kosher salt. And then we're just going to mix all that together. Now, when you're mashing this together, make sure you mash those cloves of roasted garlic if that's what you're using. I didn't roast these quite long enough so they weren't as smushy as I would like them to be. So I did end up adding some garlic powder, which is an option if you don't feel like roasting your garlic, you can use garlic powder instead but I really like the taste of the roasted garlic in there. And it's really easy to roast garlic. You just put a little bit of oil, olive oil on it and put it in the oven for about 20 minutes and then it'll get nice and soft. So next we're going to do our tortillas. And I like to heat mine on a skillet with a little bit of oil. This is really just like a teaspoon or so or you could spray some oil on there. And the oil is important in order to keep your tortillas from cracking and breaking. We are going to be rolling them and we don't want them to crack or break. I tried to do this without the oil and it just didn't work. But I've seen other people totally dunk their tortillas in oil and that's not necessary. You just need a little bit of oil on a hot pan and just keep flipping them over like I'm doing here until they're nice and pliable. Now it's time to assemble the taquitos. So you just take one and fill it with about a quarter cup of the mashed potato filling and then just roll it up. And we are going to bake this batch in the oven. So I'm using a large baking dish and I'm just going to keep filling them until I have a full baking dish, which for this batch ended up being about eight taquitos. You don't want them to be sitting too close together in the pan so that they don't stick together when they're baking. 
then I just pop those in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Next we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to cook these in the air fryer. So again, we'll just put some filling in each tortilla, roll it up, and instead of using a baking dish, we'll just put them straight into the air fryer. I found that I do prefer them in the air fryer um, because they not only cook a little faster, but they get crispier. And we all want a crispy taquito, right? So the crispier the better. I highly recommend using an air fryer if you have one. And we will air fry those at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, I am going to make some cilantro lime cashew cream sauce. And the recipe I'm using is from Rainbow Plant Life, um, but I've seen a few different people using basically the same recipe. It is so good, but I will leave a link to the full recipe in the description box below. And it's basically some soaked cashews, jalapeno, cilantro, lime, and a little bit of salt and pepper. I am actually quite obsessed with this sauce. It works for so many different things, especially if you're doing a Mexican style meal prep, which is a video that I will have coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. But we're just going to blend all those ingredients up in the blender or a food processor, and it works on so many different things. So while I was making that, of course, my doggy Blue was hanging out in the kitchen with me, playing dead as usual. So once that sauce is all blended up, I just pour it into a jar to keep in the fridge. And like I said, it goes with so many different things, tacos, taco bowls, burritos, nachos, salad, or these delicious potato taquitos. So now we're all ready to go and I'm just pouring a little bit of these on top of the taquitos just for presentation, um, but you can have little dishes of it for people to dip in. These taquitos are great for dipping in all kinds of things like guacamole or salsa or some refried beans, whatever you like. And I'm sprinkling just a little bit of fresh cilantro on there and some homemade guacamole. If you want this recipe, the full recipe for the potato taquitos or for the guacamole, I will leave links to those in the description box below. These are perfect for Cinco de Mayo or Super Bowl or any kind of little party or gathering that you're having because they're the perfect Mexican finger food and you can just eat one or you can eat more. They're great for a snack. They're just so delicious. You guys are going to absolutely love these and they're so easy to make. How could you go wrong? So I hope you'll try this recipe and if you liked this video, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow and be seen by other people so I can share more delicious vegan recipes with more people. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and hit that notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. So for now, have a great Cinco de Mayo or just a great day in general, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!